evening, traders from across the globe. It's Thursday night. Happy Friday to everybody. This video coming at you on a Thursday night for trading Friday, Jan 27, 2023. This is video number 2522 coming at you. These videos are to teach you the art of trading, technical analysis, how to read a chart. And if you can read a chart really well, I promise you it'll make you a much better trader. So at least you'll lose less. I don't know if you'll win, but you'll lose less. How about that? <laughs> so listen, make sure you know how to read a chart and then know the risks behind this game. If you don't know how to read a chart, don't you worry. That's what I'm here for. But know the risks behind this game. Put your stops in first before you put on a position. Never trade without stops. Know that you can get slaughtered in this business if you do not pay attention to the risk. Let's move forward. So there are some topics on the board in tonight's video, and most of them happen to be on charts. So I'm going to have to show you a lot of charts in this video, but I think you're going to love them. The charts are about U.S. indices like e and S&P, Russell, and the gamut. Number two on the board is Meta or Facebook. Traders of, I don't know, 10, 15 days ago, maybe a little longer, I started to bring Meta back into my videos and talk about it in my live trading room. And I said it's caught my attention. Well, it is still catching my attention all these days later. So I want to show you that Facebook meta. And let me say something about Facebook or meta. It's a huge, huge, huge company. And it's a big part of our stock market. So I'm glad to see that it's starting to look better, as are our U.S. indices. In fact, let's go back to number one. U.S. indices are looking really strong on the charts, but there is just one thing that we have to get past. The PCE tomorrow morning at 8.30. That's the personal consumption expenditures number. Traders, here's what I want to tell you about that number. Most people, most the traders out there in the world, if you will, they don't seem to follow the PCE or think it matters. I have been doing, I've been on Wall Street, grew up in the epicenter of Wall Street in the trading pits for 41 plus years. And I am telling you right now that the Fed, they look at the PPI and the CPI and the PCE, they look at them as if they're all really equally important. So most traders don't seem to recognize that the PCE tomorrow, the Fed really, really puts that one under a microscope. It's as big to the Fed as CPI and PPI. Now, if personal consumption in any way, shape, or form is bullish, fantastic. The charts are showing us it's bullish, and away we go. But I can tell you that PCE could wreck this whole game because if PCE comes out really bad, we know the Fed is going to react at the next meeting. So let's hope the PCE comes in and pushes this market higher. We'll, I'll show you the indices charts. They're at a quagmire spot that they've just broken through. But tomorrow is Friday, right? The week could end on the wrong side of this whole operation. But I'm going to show you the charts. For now, I like the way they look. We are bullish. We would buy big dips, whether there's a report tomorrow or not. I will tell you this. Reports give Omniax great fills. We never hide from reports. We put our orders in, the report comes out, we get filled. So if we come up with a trade for tomorrow, put your orders in. Don't worry about that PC. It'll help us. Indices, I'll show you the charts. Meta, I'll show you the charts. What else is in this video? Precious metals. I've been hemming and whoring about them for weeks now, right? And they're still going. They look good. Silver, gold, platinum, fantastic looking charts. Number four on the board, cryptocurrencies. You know, I only discuss crypto when it's going up. You know that, right? If it's going down, I don't say a word. <laughs> I am not getting in front of this camera talking about the downside of crypto when I own so damn much of it. So when it's going up, you get me in front of this camera going, yeah, crypto's going up. And that's what's going to happen, or at least that's where it is right now. Has been going up, and I don't mind showing you some charts. And then finally, number five on the board is this. Do not fall in love with the upside remains on the board, but I think if we can get past this spot, I'm about to show you on the charts, and if that PCE comes out positive for market movement, I think I'll be able to erase this off the board next week, and that would be fantastic, right? Do not fall in love with the upside means when the market does have really major rallies, don't fall in love with that because it's going to come back down, and that is what we've seen, but complexion is changing. If the complexion changes enough, I will yank that from the board and we'll start falling in love with downside dips. We'll see what happens. All right, traders, so 
Omniacs, Omni Campus that are coming in next week. I am ready for you. I am looking forward to seeing you. I promise you, you are going to learn so much with me. You're going to love your trip out to Vegas. Omni Campus next week. Feb 2nd through 6th, and I expect my Omniacs to leave here with a whole new outlook on how markets operate and how they come up with good winning trades. Congratulations to the Omniacs who were smart enough to come out. I actually still have one open seat, but it's, you know, it's 10 days away, so I don't know if anyone's going to grab it. But if you're close by and you'd like to speak to me about coming out to this Omnicamp, you've got limited time. You better call me, 702-629-4755. Or go to omnibootcamp.com and fill out an application. But if you don't do it like right away, there'll be no time to bring you in. Let me know. All right, traders. One, two, three, and four will be in the charts. I'll show you them right now with no further ado. Let's go look at some charts. Traders, in this chart segment, we're going to look at U.S. indices, Facebook, precious metals, and crypto. Are you ready? First one on docket here is the E-mini S&P daily bar. Look at this killer resistance line that has stopped this market cold for months on end. Now, it did get above once, but if you'll note, it's one of those days where it had a massive up day, stuck its head up, came back and settled all the way down by the lows. So that's not really getting above resistance, right? That's just tapping into it and dropping lower for the day. What we have here is one full bar absolutely above the resistance, above the 200 bar moving average for five bars now, looking good to me. Here's what we need to stay above. If that PCE comes out the wrong way and we go back down, big problem. If we could stay here, put another bar in up here, away we will start to go. So we're at a spot, but at least we've got some light at the end of that tunnel for now. At this moment in time, we'll see what happens tomorrow morning at 8.30. Looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Remember, we've had the Golden Cross right here, right? The market has rallied up, but look at this nice flag-looking type of thing, all holding above the average, looking smart to me. I like that look as well. I think these charts are telling us the PCE is going to send us higher. We'll find out. Let's look at the next chart here. Traders, now we go out to the weekly. You were looking at a daily bar where each one of these lines is one day, but this is now a weekly chart, and each one of these lines represents a full five days of trading. So, the weekly has had epic failures at resistance every single time. Epic failures. I mean, big smashdowns after hitting. Every time. Until this small breakdown right back up again, and look at this weekly bar. This is four out of five days above the resistance, and it all started when it held at the 200 bar moving average. So that's also very promising and probably telling about tomorrow's PCE report. Let's look at the next chart, the NASDAQ weekly. Now, you know a big part of my thesis on thinking we were going to have some downside was the fact that we were spending time below the 200 bar moving average on the weekly bar of the NASDAQ, but... I've shown this chart to you in many videos. Even during COVID, we did not break. It did not break the 200 bar moving average. You can follow this back for years. Only during 2008 crash did we get below the 200 bar moving average on the NASDAQ weekly, but we were below it for a while and it was getting scary. Well, look where we are right now. Above in a big way. You gotta love that, right? I'm gonna give a round of applause. Let's just hope on Friday, tomorrow, it settles above. That will get algorithms to come in, that will get Wall Street to like it, and we'll move higher. Now we're moving out to Meta. Traders back here, I said, you know, Meta is starting to catch my attention. It put this low in, started to rally up. It was in this downward channel. You see that for quite some time, a really long green channel? Well, it finally started to act smart and it got above that channel and created a new channel. And that's a pretty sharp looking channel compared to the one that was going down. Well, I'm gonna show you that very same chart and blow it up just a little bit. Same thing, Meta, Meta. It's actually forming a steeper channel heading north, look at that. And now we're about to kiss that 200 ball moving average. Meta is starting to look good. This whole rounded bottom looks good to me. So that's why I've been bringing it forward in these last few weeks, and that's why I wanted to show it to you again today. In fact, if we could get above this 200 ball moving average, I kid you not, algorithms will just key off of that. But there is a big spot here. We've got to get above that. Got to get above that. We'll see, hopefully the report tomorrow will do that for Facebook. 
Now we go out to precious metals. Look at silver. What a monster. Silver also had a channel here, right? It was working inside of this channel, but since then it has blown out of this channel. All right, the channel was here. I just don't want to draw. And has created this new one. Bounced off the 200 ball moving average at the bottom of the channel and went up for three days. That's promising some form of an F flag sitting right here. An Oscarism known as an F flag. I like silver. Now, that doesn't mean it's going straight up on Friday. But this formation here tells us that we can continue to buy dips in precious metals. Not just silver. Look at gold. Gold has this killer looking F flag, if you will, an Oscarism known as an F flag. We've been in it for some time and we're still in it now. As long as we stay within the flag or drop down to the bottom of the channel and hold, gold still looks very bullish. Look at how it's been riding this channel and the 200 ball moving average straight up. Isn't that fantastic? So you gotta love that. And let's go look at something else, copper. Dr. Copper looks just like gold, if you ask me. Same sort of F flag, jumps above the averages, and copper has a golden cross. How about that, kids? Copper has golden cross. So precious metals, including this next one, are starting to look good. Look at how long platinum has been riding this trend line and this average. See the average? It comes in and it just attaches itself to the trend line. That's algorithms buying every time it gets there. You know that, right? That's what keeps that average there. And you can see that it keeps bouncing off of it every time it gets near it. And we are at it right now. And if metals are going to find support, probably platinum is going to find support here as well. Now let's go out for you crypto fans. Let's move out to Bitcoin. Hello, Bitcoin. You keep going up, baby. I love you. So check this out. Bitcoin broke out of this massive, massive wedge that it was in. Got above the 200, the 50 ball moving average, got above the 100 ball moving average and is now at and challenging the 200. You know the street loves that one, right? So you gotta like what you see and look at this channel. Look at this straight up channel it's building. So you gotta like that for now again, you know, tomorrow morning's PCE could destroy all of this, but I'm going based on what I see, not on the report tomorrow. And then you've got Ethereum doing the same sort of thing, challenging the 200 ball moving average as we speak above the 100, above the 50, broke out of a wedge, just like Bitcoin. And now you got a good support line building which is being challenged right now. So you gotta like what you see here. Things change rapidly. As you know, we're day traders. So our opinion on Friday might be completely different on Sunday night for Monday, but that is our technical opinion. Thank you to the charts for trading on Friday. Traders, thank you for tuning in. Good luck out there. And remember, stops are in. in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.